Honorable Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government and Heads of Delegation, Excellency Vice Rupani, Chief Minister of Gujarat, distinguished business leaders and guests. It is a pleasure to be back in India and particularly to be here in beautiful Gujarat. I would like to thank Prime Minister Modi and the government of India for your invitation and warm hospitality. Rwanda and India share more than long historic ties. We also have common aspirations for the well-being and prosperity of our people. Indian investors and East Africans of Indian origin continue to make important contributions to our region's dynamism. Trade between India and Rwanda is growing. India, Indian businesses in the manufacturing and other sectors are playing a role in our economy as long-term investors. But there is much more potential for investment and joint ventures. Like India, Rwanda seeks economic development and long-term transformation by unleashing the potential of our citizens to be more productive and through beneficial partnerships with the private sector and technology investments. This is also the main goal of ongoing work to deepen regional integration in East Africa, particularly through projects that support integration. By widening our markets, easing travel, trade and business, and embarking on major joint infrastructure projects, we want to maximize opportunities for investment and ensure inclusive growth for years to come. In a rapidly changing world, we have the opportunity to further diversify African exports to India beyond oil and minerals, to stronger profitable partnerships in other areas, including technology, manufacturing, agriculture, tourism, education, and healthcare. The vibrant Gujarat Global Summit is a valuable platform to strengthen mutually beneficial initiatives in all these and other sectors. Attracting investment is a priority for Rwanda. We continue to make it easy to do business and have established a very attractive investment code. We are ready to discuss business and investments right away. The Rwandan private sector delegation that is here in Gujarat is keen to meet counterparts and explore prospects. Following this visit, we look forward to more activities, including the launch of direct flights to India, especially Mumbai, that's where it is going to start from in a few weeks, by our national carrier, Rwandair, in a few months. This will be a significant step in facilitating travel and business between Rwanda and India and better connecting our two regions. We have every reason to succeed in our efforts. India's familiarity 
with the East African region and your long tradition of successful businesses is a good match for the ambitions and vast opportunities available in our countries. We are here to make it work. I thank you and wish all of us a fruitful summit.